In this M19 tutorial, you will learn how to use a traffic analysis feature inside their software that shows you all search term level data that you can use for different Amazon advertising purposes. M19 is a platform that automates and optimizes all Amazon advertising in one place. If you want to try this tool yourself, sign for M19 using the link below in the description of this video. And as always, if you like our videos, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hello everybody, I'm Tariq, CEO of M19. For the ones who uh, don't know M19, we are um, a platform that automates and operates uh, all advertising on Amazon and that does provide different views and dashboarding that will help you manage uh, your Amazon advertising and globally your Amazon uh, account. During this short tutorial, I will be showing you one small piece of M19, which is the traffic analysis view, where you can see pretty fast and in an easy way all your search term level data that uh, you can use for um, different things that I will share here with you. So here is what M19 looks like. So M19 is not only for uh, automation and uh, advertising management, but it can also be used as a dashboarding tool that gives you a lot of insights about your sales data, advertising data, and in the coming days, profit analytics uh, data in a very simple way. So you can you can get all these data that can help you improve and understand what's happening on your Amazon account, either globally, like you can have all the metrics globally over time. You can have it at product level data. Each ASIN, you can know exactly what's happening in terms of data like globally total sales, organic, sponsored, et cetera, and, pretty, and very soon the profit margin per ASIN. And the last piece is the search level, search term level data that I will be presenting uh, during this uh, short tutorial. So this tab is, is here for two reasons. The first one is we want to be able to show exactly what, where, and how we are advertising on a specific brand or on a specific account, which means that whenever you want, if you need to check what are the top, for example, search term that we are spending on, you can just come here and you can select cost and you can get top search term that we do, we are spending on, top competitor ACs that we are getting sales from. And you can see the share of a group of ASIN or a group of competitor ASINs uh, of keywords or group of competitor ASINs that you do define in a segment. So here I have some predefined segments. So a segment is you can say, okay, I want to group, for example, my branded traffic, my brand name as a segment and the ACES from my own catalog, it will, be, it will create a segment. And I want to see how much this segment is representing compared to the rest. So this detox segment contain, contains four competitor products and one single keyword. I can see that the share of this segment in terms of cost is 9% compared to my total uh, search term level advertising data. I can have the share also in terms of sales, and in whatever metric you want, you can see the share of this segment. This is very important if your goal, for example, is to analyze how much uh, sales you are getting from some specific competitors compared to the rest, how much sales you are getting on search terms that are containing one word, for example, if you have um, an organic product, you can create a segment that contains organic in, in phrase, and you can capture all search terms that contain organic. And by just selecting here, the organic segment, that by the way, let me show you how easy it is to create this segment. I can create a new segment. Let's call it or, organic. Organic, by the way, it's like uh, not paid and organic, organic uh, in terms of, uh, because here it's 
the, the DM account is about herbal tea. You have organic herbal tea and non-organic herbal tea. So uh, organic search terms. Next, and you can, you just need to say, okay, I want just to have organic in phrase uh, in the segment. And now if I go to the traffic analysis, I can say, okay, let me select just organic search terms to see exactly what's happening on this segment. So I see here that the segment is empty because by the way, this is French data. Organic is in French is, is blue. Uh, and you can have the share of uh, organic. So this is why this segment thing is displayed here. And it's also used for another reason to create advanced sponsored products and sponsored brand strategies that you can uh, look at in, in the other um, tutorial videos that you can find in the same uh, YouTube channel. So first use case is you can have the top keywords that uh, you are getting, the top competitors you are getting sales from, and you can get shares of specific groups that you want to analyze. Then all this data is detailed on uh, a table below. It's, we can let's fetch way more data. You can either look at it at search term level or targeted product level. So you can decide. Let's say search term level. We can, of course, select a wider range. By the way, this data is, you can have uh, as long data, as, as much data as you are using M19. It's not only two months of data like on Amazon, but you can have one year or two years of search level data that you can crunch in one place. And let's say you want to rank your keyword, your search terms based on where you had the most cost or when where you had the most sales from. So I can see that my top seller search terms, search term is tisane grosses, like it's um, herbal tea for pregnant women. And I can see that the conversion rate is super high, 50%. This is not relevant data because it's two, one order out of uh, two clicks. So pretty fast, you can have an idea about what is converting well and what is not on each one of your specific products. So this is a very valuable data to check high converting search terms if they are included in your product listing uh, title, for example. So you can see how simple it is to come here, check exactly what are all the search terms that have the highest conversion rate. And what you just need to do is to include them in your product title. Or for this high converting search terms, you can boost them even more on M19 strategies through tactics that you can uh, see on other video tutorials to include them on your uh, advertising. The other, the other thing around is you can do the same reasoning with competitors that we are targeting. So you can rank it based on conversion rate. You can detect what are the competitors that are you that you are having the highest conversion rate on. You can see what are the ACs that you are getting most of your sales from in terms of stealing sales from competitors. And you can see also what are the competitors where are you are spending the most. And depending on where you are spending the most, if the performance is good or not, either you can adjust your M19 strategy by injecting it in a tactic or not, or you can just try to understand by checking the competitor uh, product base, try to understand why you are not getting enough sales from or why you are getting a lot of sales from. And you can just compare uh, titles, how many reviews they have, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So it is useful to see where it's working, where it's not, enable either to improve your product listing or to get inspirations from the uh, competitors that you are already getting traffic uh, from. And in this view, everything can be filtered here, either from the ACEs that have been targeted. Let's this brand Veleda. You can filter based on the ACEs to target, 
or you can even filter based on your product uh, title uh, of the products that you are uh, that have been promoted. So here, uh, tisane is herbal tea. You can, for example, in one click, <coughs> keep only um, search terms that contain this word to analyze exactly uh, what's happening with search term containing this word, for example. This is one of the use cases. So if you still have, if, you st if something's still not clear or you have any questions related to how to read and to use the traffic analysis tab from M19, please feel free to reach to us from the link below in this uh, video. We'll be very happy to answer your question or just leave a comment in the video below. Uh, we'll reach back to answer your questions. Thank you. I hope this tutorial will help you to better understand how does M19 work M19 is an artificial intelligence powered uh, advertising technology for sellers and if you want to try it for yourself sign up for M19 using the link in the description of this video and now I would like to recommend you to watch more videos about 19 and to learn more how they work and what they can do for your Amazon business.